JLo's love might not cost a thing, but her skincare products will set you back a pretty penny. Hey, I'm Alana and welcome to Style Trial, the series where we try out celebrity products and give them our honest review. Today, it's all about that glow, that JLo glow to be precise. She's got it and everybody wants it. And now we can have it because she's bottled it for her new skincare brand, JLo Beauty. We tried out seven different products from the launch, which is a whole lot of product and it's pretty pricey. Is it worth the hype and the cost? We're gonna let you know. And joining us for this style trial is senior reporter Eileen, who is also a JLo fan. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Alana. Thanks so much for having me. I tried to wear my best JLo outfit just for you. I feel like she would approve. <laughs> Okay, so we can't start talking about JLo Beauty without discussing the sort of backlash that she got when she launched these products and announced them. So JLo basically said something to the effect of like, I've been using olive oil for years. It's the reason I look the way I do. It's, you know, given me this amazing youthful glow. And at the same time, she also said, I've never used Botox. I'm not that person was her direct quote. Um, and basically said she doesn't use needles. She, you know, hasn't tried any sort of invasive procedures, just olive oil and sunscreen. So I do believe that she hasn't maybe done Botox because I feel like, why would you so blatantly put that out there? I mean, it's in the day that we live in, in terms of transparency. However, has she only been putting on sunscreen and olive oil? I doubt that. I'm sure she the best lasers that there are out there, even things that we probably haven't even heard of. I think maybe if she was a little bit more open about that, you know, people would appreciate it and they wouldn't, she wouldn't get such backlash. Want to try out JLo Beauty for yourself? You can shop all the products below. Okay, so let's start with that JLo Glow, which is the multitasking serum. It's kind of been hailed as, you know, the cornerstone of this line, the, the big hero product. First, we have to talk about this packaging because it's beautiful. Throughout the line, the packaging is gorgeous, right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It definitely looks super high end. And it's interesting because they're plastic bottled, but they look like they're glass. Let's talk about the ingredients in this. Um, it actually has a lot of really good ones. It's got squalene, it's got niacinamide, which are both like dermatologist loved, highly approved ingredients. Um, squalene is actually part of what br the brand refers to as its JLo Beauty Olive Complex, which is present throughout the line. It's squalene, it's fermented oils, extra virgin oil. So I was a little bit worried because I don't really want to be throwing olive oil on my face. Um, no offense to JLo if that really does work for you, but it's not my game. You really clog up your pores if you do that. Totally. And I didn't find that this did. It says that it'll deliver tightening, brightening, and hydrating effects. Out of those, I noticed maybe subtly two out of three. It didn't feel particularly hydrating, to be honest. Um, maybe a bit of a glow, though, after I applied it. Uh, what did you think? I agree. I really only noticed the brightening effect. But I have to be honest, so my skin is combination skin. Mm -hmm. And so my T-zone, immediately after I used it, about within the first five minutes, I saw a little bit of irritation. You can see that there's like a little bit of redness. Um, so, and right there on my forehead. So I don't know if I would use that on the daily. I also noticed an interesting scent. It's kind of neutral. Like there's different fragrances throughout the line. And this one was very subtle, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Yeah, it wasn't an unpleasant scent, but like you can definitely smell it. So we have to talk about the That Blockbuster Wonder Cream, which was by far my favorite product in the lineup. Um, so this is a heavy duty, really rich moisturizer. It's got hyaluronic acid, it's got shea butter, cotton seed oil, a lot of really hydrating, nourishing ingredients. I really enjoyed the experience of using this moisturizer. In fact, this is probably going to become my usual, at least cold weather facial moisturizer for night. Um, I could see it being a little bit heavy for those with certainly oily skin types or even maybe normal, but if you're a dry skin gal like myself, get you some of this. The Wonder Cream is great, but then she's got, it's interesting that they included yet another moisturizer with SPF. So it's like an added bonus. If you're gonna pick one or the other, 
I mean, I guess I personally would go for the one with the SPF because it's like, why not? You get protection from UV rays. So what do you think though? I also really liked the SPF. The um, That big screen, see what she did there. Broad spectrum SPF 30 moisturizer. While the Wonder Cream is super dense and super hydrating, the SPF, I noticed spreads a lot more easily across the face. And, you know, I just like that she launched with a with an SPF because like that requires FDA approval and that, you know, she clearly went through the steps to make it happen. So next up, we have That Fresh Take Eye Cream, which costs $48. And I'll say this off the bat, um, as somebody who values her dermatologist input super highly, loves to research skincare ingredients, um, dermatology in general, I kind of think eye cream just in general, this is nothing against JLo, is a scam. I, I, my whole life, I've just used my regular moisturizer around my eyes and it's done a perfectly good job at, you know, keeping things somewhat in check. I'm with you there, Alana, honestly. And to be fair, I feel like we can't really fully judge an eye cream until it's more long-term. I mean, within a week or just a few couple of days of using that product, you're not gonna see dramatic results under your eyes. I think that maybe a span of six months, we could give a more accurate review on that. Okay, so let's talk about the cleanser that hits single. I really liked the experience of using this. I found it very gentle and non-stripping on my dry skin. Um, that's likely because it's sulfate free, which is also the reason why if you like a really foamy cleanser, you might be kind of taken aback by how this doesn't foam at all. It's very runny and you just kind of like mush it around your face with water. Um, but that also means it's not gonna dry you out if you're dry, which is great. I loved it. I mean, it was so refreshing. My skin felt so clean afterwards. Mm -hmm right and then a few like maybe 30 seconds afterwards i felt like a little bit of a firming effect which i really enjoyed um and also i loved the smell i mean i know that there are a lot of people out there that are not big into fragrances and you know having their products have fragrances but i personally loved the one that they chose i also thought it removed my makeup really nicely sometimes i don't want to like go in with a makeup wipe and really rub because I can get very red and irritated from that. And it was nice to have something that was gentle but also took off eye makeup. Okay, so let's talk about that Limitless Glow Multitasking Mask, which I don't have to show you because I've already put it on my face. I used it over the weekend. Um, this was, I was the most pleasantly surprised by this mask out of the entire line. I don't know if it was just the fact that it sat on my face for about 15, 20 minutes, or the fact that, you know, I had fabric kind of pulling it and pressing it into my skin, but I noticed an immediate effect with this mask. Um, afterwards, I felt glowier. I did feel sort of lifted and a little tighter. I could see this being a really good mask to have on hand before big events. It's a really good pre-party mask. Um, it is expensive. I agree with you that it's definitely one of those masks that you wanna use for a special event or maybe a Zoom date now. <laughs> yes. My personal advice would be that you can skip the serum, but definitely get the mask. So finally, Let's talk about that star filter, which is the instant complexion booster. It comes in four different shades, ranging from pink champagne, which is sort of a lighter, more pinky sparkle, to rich bronze, which is a darker, deeper golden glow. Um, and you can use these according to the website two different ways. You can either put it on um, your whole face, kind of like a primer slash all over glow, or use it as a highlighter and just dab it onto the high points of your face, which is what I did for this video today with the pink champagne. And I wasn't sure that it had that much of, effect, of an effect until everybody on the Zoom said so. I was sent the warm bronze and the rose gold shades. Um, they're very, very pigmented. The warm bronze also gave me a little bit of like a self tanner type of look. Like I put it all over and I felt like, you know, a little, a shade a little bit darker. So it was like, great. It's like, you know, you're protecting yourself from the sun. You're getting a tan without having to go outside. So that was, that was really great. Okay, so we've been through all the products. Eileen, what were your overall thoughts? What were your favorites? You know, what products maybe do you think people could skip? 
Overall, I think it's a really great line. I think it's really fairly priced uh, for being J-Lo. You know, I expect it actually to be maybe a little bit of a higher price point. I've seen a lot of other celebrities kind of like hike up the price because they've got their name attached to it. Um, I do have favorites though, for sure, in the line that I would consider investing in. The cleanser, I just love like the immediate effects of it and the moisturizer with SPF. Um, on the flip side, I probably wouldn't purchase the serum. I think that one is the only one that really stood out to me as being a little bit overpriced and maybe not worth it. Mm -hmm. So we had some overlap. I, I feel the same way about the serum and also about the eye cream. I think I could definitely live without those. Um, I love the Wonder Cream, will continue to use it. I think it's absolutely worth the $58 price tag. Um, and I also was hugely pleasantly surprised by the mask. And I think for special occasions, special nights, I mean, I will definitely want to keep a few of those on hand. But we want to hear from you guys. Are you interested in trying JLo Beauty or have you already ordered some of the products? We want to know what you think. Tell us in the comments and we'll see you back here again soon for another style trial. Bye.